Hello once again. Walk 8. Teversal, Rothorn Trail, Leslie, and Skateby. It's mid-October. Exact day, can't remember. But it's about 1.30pm, and the weather's good. My friend Mitch has just arrived, so we have a chat and a coffee, slip the leash onto no names, and then we're off to do the Teversal, Plesley and Skateby Circular. A 15 minute stroll past Meadon Bank into Teversal finds us at Teversal Trails Visitor Centre for the true starting point. A few photo shots of a Teversal Coal Garden, take off No Names Leash and hit the trail, headed towards Plesley. Now once let off the leash, No Names is in his element and proceeds to do his running around like a mad thing routine. That has become an integral part of my wandering with him, never leaving my sight whilst going about his own little voyages of discovery. Well, the going's good, the track bed is solid and suitable for all. Occasionally a cloud eyes the sun, but overall the autumn sunshine only heightens the experience. The colours of autumn are beginning to show on the previous many shades of green, to be gradually replaced by shades of yellow, brown and red. One of my two favourite seasons, the other being spring. Cool enough as not to get overheated, yet warm enough to be comfortable, the perfect balance, and so colourful. Anyway, at about 2.15pm, and we find ourselves discussing the prospect of a detour along the Rothorn Trail. With plenty of time, and it should only take an hour, and so the Rothorn Trail wins through. Within minutes we find ourselves in a new environment. The track bed, although still evident if you look close enough, has become merely a narrow footpath through a woodland area, as opposed to the wide multi-user track between Tevisal, Plesley and Scapey. Accessible by bike perhaps, but much more suited to foot slogging, and almost inaccessible to pushchair, pram or wheelchair. But this is part of the beauty that is the Rothorn Trail. I was introduced to the Rothorn Trail about 25 years ago, whilst working as a volunteer with the Derbyshire County Council Countryside Ranger Service. This volunteer work also introduced me to the Five Pitch Trail, also part of the Phoenix Greenways, and the delightful Chesterfield Canal both of which I will try and cover in future trail trekking posts. The Rothorn Trail was perhaps one of the first established green routes in the area, and this is most evident in the maturity of the trees and woodland that now occupy what was once a railway line. And it is a wonderful country walk, stretching from near to Plesley Pit Country Park to the peaceful Derbyshire village of Rothorn, between Clapwell and the famous Hardwick Hall. The exact length I'm unsure as yet, but it takes about 30 minutes to walk its length in entirety, so it is certainly not a long one, and is a most excellent and enjoyable way to use up an extra hour when you're out on the Phoenix Greenways. About half an hour from the start of the Rothorn Trail, and we're in Rothorn Car Park at the end of the route. We just then had to walk back to rejoin our main Teversal Trail near Plesley, which of course proved to be just as enjoyable. By about 3.30pm we stride up the slope of the Tevisal Trail into Plesley Pit Country Park. A half hour walk about to take in a bit of the park and grab a few shots of the old colliery building and winding wheels. One of the very few that remain standing in the area and now a little museum to the coal mining heritage of the area. The headstocks and engine house of Plesley Colliery are a prominent local landmark that can be seen towering above the horizon for miles around. We didn't really have enough time remaining to explore more and still return home before dark. So after our little stroll in Pleasant Pit Country Park we descend the slope onto Skippy Trail and our homeward journey. Fortunately, at a later date, no names and I went wandering around Pleasant Pit Country Park armed with binoculars and camera. And I'll talk about this in a future post once I've sorted out the photos and videos I took. Again, both the going and the weather were still good, as we traversed the Skegby Trail towards Skegby itself. The energy of No Names always astounds me, as he continues to run about right to the end. However, once we get home, and after his cup of tea, he always collapses into a sprawled out heap and goes to sleep. In fact, so do I sometimes. At around 4.30pm, Butcher Lane Car Park at Skegby on the end of our walk finally comes into sight. A 15 minute stint via the cross country shortcut difficult to explain to anyone who is not local and unaware of it. Brings us back to my front door and the hearty prospect of a refreshing cuppa, Bliss. And don't forget, check out the album on Facebook to see the photos I took on the walk. 
Thank you very much. And I shall speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.